starts with her. How did you become so passionate? She's been interested in human potential. There's ever since I can remember, I was always interested in our potential as human beings mm -hmm. to do a better job in life. And I just had a great family with um, two great parents that encouraged uh, their children to uh, to go go for whatever they wanted to to, to do or become. But when I was in my 20s, I got run over by a truck in a triathlon and broke six bones in my back. I was told I would never walk again. And, uh, you know, we always need crisis, I think, as human beings to mm -hmm. break our you know, chemical and social and, you know, and personal belief systems down. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had four opinions from four of the leading surgeons in Southern California. And uh, it, it was a pretty bad prognosis. I'd have to have a radical surgery. <coughs> anyway, I decided against the surgery at that time in my life. And the principle I lived by was the power that made the body heal the body. That's what I just believed. And so I spent every single day of my uh, uh, waking conscious day um, thinking about how I could interact with this intelligence, this power. And I began to give, give it some instructions and uh, begin to talk to it. And I had nothing else to do. <laughs> and when I started to notice changes in my health, when I started to notice it responding, I knew that I, I was on to something. And that kind of started me on the a, a, a kind of a spiritual journey. And uh, um, for the last 20 years, to more than 25 years now, it's been my passion. So you're one of those people that works the work as well as talks the Well, that's my, you know, that's what I hope. I mean, um, I am an active participant mm -hmm. in change. I mean, I'm an active participant in my life mm -hmm. in change. I mean, I'm the happiest when I'm learning and I'm changing. Mm -hmm. If I'm not doing either one of those things, I'm so bored with myself. You know? So, um, I, I do my best to engage in mm -hmm. change all the time. And when you're engaged in it, mm -hmm. it's real. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, yeah. It's tangible. It's tangible. Yeah. Thank you. Um, if anyone wants to know more about yourself, uh, your books, or your workshops, or any of your up and coming dates, where can they find more information? Um, my website is drjoedispenza.com. It's D R J O E D I S P E N Z A. And, um, you know, on the website, we do radio, twice a month we do radio shows. I do a thing called a video Q&A, which is people can send their questions in and I answer yes. them, uh, you know, with a green screen and it's a very interactive and people love it. Mm -hmm. And they get a file sent to them once a week, well, once a month, and they mm -hmm. get to do it for a whole week. Um, there is event, an events calendar where I'll be, you know, whether I'm in London or Milan or Madrid or somewhere in the, in the, in the, around the world. And um, <clears throat> the books, Evolve Your Brain, The Science of Changing Your Mind, the new book's coming out here um, in, uh, in the spring called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Oh, gross. That sounds like fun. How to Lose Your Mind and Create a New One. Oh, I love that. And it's all about the process of change. It's all about why it's so hard to change and what happens when we actually do make a change and what we can expect in the quantum field as a result of our change. When we truly change, right? If we've truly made a change in mind and body, there should be some evidence in our world. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to live by. We have to you know, evoke the field mm -hmm. to respond to this. We have to begin, begin to ask it to intervene in our life. Mm -hmm. And we, have to, we need feedback <clears throat> as a result of our efforts. And if we don't look for feedback, the brain never changes. When we can associate what we did internally with whatever's happening externally, mm -hmm. that event is in a monumental moment because then we can say, I'm at cause, I created that effect in our life. And I love that because it gives me a sense where I'm beginning to see in the work that you're doing that instead of being a passive observer or a passive experiencer of life, you become an active creator. And the beauty about that is that nobody is excluded. No one is so yeah. special. The field doesn't work for them, right? All level. Everybody, independent of their yeah. creed or their gender, their race, gets to participate. All we need is the knowledge to understand how, and then the permission to do it. Yeah. That's it. Permission. Love that. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're really welcome. Appreciate it. You're
will get all the information on our website. So if you need any information, have a look at our website or drjojospencer.com and you can find out more. Thanks so much for joining us.